Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's Gorlane here bringing you a new Diablo video. And the PTR is active again, the public test realm testing season 5. We're currently in season 4. So a lot of people are upset, especially us Necromancer mains. Uh, they kind of gutted one of our loadouts for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they're doing this, but it is what it is. Let's just briefly look at the uh, season 5 P2R patch notes. I'm not going to go through all these. There's plenty of content creators out there that went in depth in this, but I mainly want to focus on the Necromancer as that's the Necromancer is my main. So we have new unique boots coming. It's Bone Prison boots. We have some new legendary aspects coming. They're bringing back a lot of the malignant heart abilities. Let's scroll down and look at the balancing updates. So here we go. Balance updates. Let's look at the Necromancer, for instance. So Book of the Dead. Uh, minions are getting buffed. And I don't know why. Minions are already probably the second strongest build. Um, I'm not sure why they're continuing to buff minions. Minions are in a good spot, in my opinion. Um, the buffs aren't extreme or anything, but it's definitely going to help. So... Uh, minions can now overpower. Minions are more aggressive. Uh, the golem, the active ability, golem is far from the target. It's just going to leap to the target now. Uh, Sever's getting a little buff. Uh, Blight got back, uh, buffed, back buffed, essentially, because they nerfed it, and now they're increasing it back. Um, I don't know why. Blood Wave got a huge buff, uh, because Blood Wave is basically not used. Uh, you're either using Army of the Dead, or you're using Bone Shield, uh, or Bone Storm, whatever. Um, so Blood Wave got a significant damage buff. I still don't see people using it, but, I mean, it is what it is. The Shadow Blight passive, uh, now only requires 8 ticks of it instead of 10, which is nice. Uh, and the damage increase went from 22% to 44%. So that's interesting. Uh, Hellbent Commander got changed. Now you don't have to stand next to your minions uh, as long as you have 7 minions. Uh, it did get decreased though. So your minions were able to deal 45% increased damage uh, while you were close to them. Now it's going to cap out at 30%, but you don't have to stand next to them. Essentially, if you have 7 active minions... You're going to get that 30% buff. Now, here's the big one. So, I've played, personally, a Shadow Necromancer from the start of the game. So, pre-season, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, and Season 4. We're in Season 4. My main character has always been a Shadow Necromancer. Uh, specifically focused on DOT damage. Uh, pure DOT damage. So, we're talking about a Corpse Explosion build. Um, and just doing massive amounts of DOT damage. And I've seen the ups and the downs. Well, now we're getting just completely nerfed into the ground, essentially. And again, I don't understand why. I know Macro uh, Boy made, you know, comments in a video about it. Um, I mean, let's be realistic here. As far as balance goes, Barbarians are out of control. I'm not trying to pick on the class. All you Barbarian mains out there are living in your glory, but... Barbarians are doing billions of damage. Billions with a B. My Shadow Necromancer, uh, on Season 4 right now on live, I'm hitting about 200 million uh, every half second, give or take. So that's like 400 million damage every second for 6 seconds, but it has 100% uptime as long as you're, you know, spamming. Um, so is it comparable to Barbarian? To a degree, but I'm doing damage over time where the Barbarian is literally just smashing everything and doing billions of damage. The Druid can do billions of damage. The Sorcerer can do billions of damage. Uh, right now on PTR, there's a bug with the Rogue that he just executes everything on the screen. Um, so I don't know why they're specifically nerfing the Shadow Necromancer. Uh, it's not pushing, you know pit 150 on the live servers um so i'm not exactly sure why this is being nerfed this is a significant nerf uh, and we're talking about one aspect here and it's the blighted aspect where a lot of our damage does come from bonus damage after triggering shadow blight 10 times 
um, was doing 120%. So if you put this on a two-hander, it's doing 240. If you put it on an amulet, it's doing 180%. They nerfed it all the way to 50%. And again, I'm not sure why. So there's a developer note here. Blighted Aspect has been disproportionately large source of damage for Sa Shadow Blight Blaze Necromancers, giving for more power than we normally give for a single aspect. So I can agree with this statement. Yes, the bladed aspect was a huge aspect, but that's where like 90% of our damage originally was coming from. Now it's not. Now it's coming from intelligence, but we'll get into that because they're nerfing that as well. Uh, so this is going down to 50%. So now if you put it on an amulet, I think it goes to 100%. And it's, it's not going to be worth it. There's going to be other aspects that are now going to replace this. But this is a significant damage loss. Uh, to compensate for the change, we are increasing the baseline power of the Darkness uh, core skills and Shadow Blight with the goal of keeping these builds at approximately the same, or, same overall power level. So again, when you're talking about class balance, you have the other classes doing billions of damage. And for whatever reason, you're like, hey, hey, what's that Shadow Necro doing over there? We're, we're going to nerf him into the ground. We, we buffed minions, uh, so everybody should play minions now. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a minion Necromancer as well that, I yes, I'm enjoying playing. But again, I've played the Shadow D.O.T. Necro from the beginning of Diablo 4. And that is my main character. And that's what I focused on throughout the seasons. Um... And this is upsetting. And, and there's no reason uh, for this. They could have adjusted this a little bit, but not nerfed it into the ground. Uh, going from 120% down to 50% is a joke. Uh, this could have been maybe, let's say, 75%, 80%. Uh, but 120 down to 50, that's a joke. Uh, and like I said, that's not even the biggest problem. Uh, and I feel like the developers, you know, it's Blizzard, but it is what it is. Like, they don't really grasp how the Shadow Necros played. They're talking about, well, they increased the power of Darkness uh, core skills, which they did. Uh, they increased Blight, which will be fine for the Blight build. The problem with Diablo 4 is that there are so many different variations of builds that they can't balance them all. So... They've increased Blight, so you might still be able to play a Blight D.O.T. Necro, but I personally play the Corpse Explosion pure D.O.T. Necro. They're not increasing Corpse Explosion damage, not in the patch notes at least, so this isn't helping me, it's only nerfing me. Uh, Bone Prism, blah blah blah, Empowering Reaper, I'm not going to go all over, over all this stuff. I mainly want to talk about the Shadow D.O.T. stuff. Uh, Grasping Veins got a little bit of a nerf. Um... Unique items. You guys can read it on your screen. And here's the biggest nerf of all. Right here. This is what is going to kill my build and damage overall. Wither also got nerfed uh, substantially. Wither did not previously have a cap on it. So basically if you're playing a Necromancer. Uh, specifically Shadow Necromancer. You're dumping as much effort and points into intelligence as you can because it just scales exponentially just through the roof. So the more intelligence you had, the more bonus damage you were getting from Wither uh, for additional DOT damage. So now it's capped uh, at 1,200 intelligence, which I believe is like, it's ridiculous. It's like, I don't know... Um, 30% chance, 25% chance, I think it's 25% chance, we'll have to look in game to see the actual damage numbers, but uh, it, it's it's bad, like that's a huge nerf to one specific build, and there was no reason for it at all, like this build is not overperforming to a degree where, like I said, we're not pushing pit even 150, uh, it's possible to hit around 150, but beyond that, I don't see it happening, so... Yeah, I don't know the reason why this is being nerfed. It is what it is. Um, I'm very upset by it. So we're going to compare it. This is going to be a longer video. We're going to look at Season 4, current, live, my build and everything. And then we're going to look on the PTR and see how bad it really is. So we're going to jump in game and go ahead and look at that. Alright guys, and here we are in game on the live servers. This is uh, Season 4. This is my character on Season 4. Now this isn't maximized yet. Um... 
I still have work to do. It's a work in progress, obviously. Uh, but I'm trying to get, you know, greater apexes on everything, etc. You know, I mean, Black River maxed out, etc. Uh, I don't have the proper rolls on it either. I haven't really farmed the pit. Obviously, I'm going to be maxing corpse skills, etc. But this is going to be a sample test size. Um, obviously, I need to re-roll this to corpse explosion damage as well, you know. Um, but again, this is just a sample size, and it's going to be the same character on PTR. So we'll be able to see the actual damage and everything. Uh, again, this is just a work in progress. Um... I have a lot of three uh, greater FX's gear. They're all rolled properly, or not rolled properly, rather, like I said. Uh, damage got nerfed, so we're probably going to go for greater FX for damage over time now. Uh, damage percentile is not double dipping anymore in Season 5. So it's just minor changes, etc. that we're going to have to do. Uh, I, I'm not using a Shaco. I have the sparks to buy a Shaco on live. It's just I haven't done it yet. So for this test, we're actually not going to be using uh, a Harlequin's Quest. Uh, but most likely we'll be switching to that, obviously, to maximize the build. So we're sitting right now at 2,900 uh, intelligence. Intelligence, again, is important. So again, that Shadow, uh, Blight, Passive, or Aspect, rather, from the Blighted, uh, is getting nerfed so you can see we put that on our amulet we deal 180 percent uh increased damage well that's now getting nerfed into the ground um so again that intelligence is one of the most important things for damage so if we look at our wither for example uh, i'm at 53 percent current chance with a current bonus of 242 percent and this just keeps scaling up with uh as much intelligence as you can get your hands on. My goal is to get like 35, um, 3,500 plus intelligence, which is very possible if you, if I had greater apexes on everything. I don't, my amulet right now is my weakest piece. I have to get greater apex, you know, intelligent percentile. Um, but yeah, you want, uh, greater apexes on intelligence on everything my boots again I, my boots is probably my second week weakest pink uh piece at this time um but we want to maximize the intelligence basically but let's just go ahead and look at a sample size here uh like i said i go anywhere from 50 million up to 250 million right now currently so we're just going to spam here uh and get some you know uh, numbers kick in here. We'll see if we can get close here on the screen just to see the damage numbers. Um, you can see the damage numbers uh, a little bit here. 162 million, you know, 126, you know, 102, 106, 167. So like I said, this will ultimately go up to about 200, 250. Um, and like I said, it is what it is. Our corpse explosion damage goes to about 6 million when we have everything procced and everything. Um, and this is going to be substantially lower going into uh, the PTR. So again, I just wanted to have a comparison video. I've had a comparison video before when they did uh, PTR last time with the new gear upgrades, etc. Um, so if you didn't see that video, go ahead and check that video out for where we were. So there was a 209 uh, DOT tick there. So like I said, it is what it is, guys. Um... We're going to check and see how big of a nerf this actually is and if this is still going to be a viable build or not. I, I honestly don't think it's going to be viable anymore, unfortunately. Uh, we might actually have to switch to like the actual Shadow Blade build. So I'm going to test that as well. So we're talking about the actual passive. So keep in mind, this is a pure DOT build. We're utilizing Corpse Explosion. Uh, and mainly the DOTs from Corpse Explosion. So now we might actually have to switch to a completely different build, which would be the Shadow Blight build, which takes that current bonus to about, oh, I don't know, 1600 or 1800, and you want to maximize, you know, as much critical strike damage as you can. Uh, and then, you know, because Shadow Blight can uh, critical, critically strike. So we might actually be switching from a pure DOT build to a build that is just basically a Shadow Blight build. And we're going to focus everything on Shadow Blight and see what we can get those critical hits up to. Because, like I said, after these changes, slash nerfs, whatever you want to call it, uh, I don't think this is actually going to be viable anymore. I just really don't. Um, it's definitely not going to be able to compete as far as pit pushing uh, or if people still do trials. I don't know if people still even do trials or not, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so we're going to jump on to PTR now. Same exact character, has the same exact gear. Everything is the same. And we're going to compare numbers then.
All right, guys, and here we are on the PTR, uh, Public Test Realm, for Season 5 with the current changes. So this is the same exact character that I just showed you guys. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm missing, like, 20, 30 intelligence. I'm not sure why I'm missing that. I don't know. Should be an exact copy of my current character, but there's it's uh, slightly less. That's not going to matter, that 20 intelligence. Uh, but you can see here... Uh, the blighted aspect is nerfed down, so on your amulet, I'm getting 75% uh, instead of that 180%. And then again, that big one is really that wither node. So if we go ahead and look at that wither node, uh, withers node right here, here we go. So now, yeah, you can see my current chance is only 25%, and my bonus is only 130 because now it caps out at 1200. So. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to see what the damage looks like here. Um, like I just showed you on the live servers, you know, I was I can get up to anywhere from like 220 to 250 every half a second um, as maximum damage. Uh, we're going to see what we can do here. I think it's obviously going to be less. I want to see how much less. So let's go ahead and get our stuff starting to spam here let's see if we can even get to a hundred million a hundred million would be good but uh, that's more than half so uh, we're already struggling here it's not looking good guys I mean I just saw an 80 right there uh, there was a hundred um, so we're looking at mainly 50 60 70 we're not pushing much higher honestly i did see a couple for a hundred but yeah this is more than like uh more than a 50 percent nerf um which is no bueno like i don't understand why they did this or why they thought this was a good idea yeah i'm mainly getting anywhere from 20 to 50 million statically with an occasional 80 to 100 million but there was a 70 million there's another 70 million uh but mainly it looks like we're getting anywhere from like 20 to 50 is reliable dps and then if we get every all our buffs going accordingly and everything then we can maybe hit 100 million yeah that's that's not good guys i mean that's like that's a 50 percent nerf um again i'm not sure why they did this uh this upsets me because i've put my heart and soul into the shadow dot necro specifically using corpse explosion uh and now i'm basically not going to be able to play that anymore so, yeah, it looks like we're getting anywhere from 20 to 50 million a tick uh, statically. So, yeah, that's a pretty significant nerf, uh, in my opinion. And, again, I don't know why they did it. Um, hopefully, Macro can convince them not to do this uh, or at least adjust it a little better. Uh, because, again, this is my favorite uh, build. I've been playing it since Diablo 4 launched, so... Not sure why, uh, just a little video comparison of what we have current to what is coming. Um, like I said, RIP to Corpse Explosion, most likely. Um, it's just not going to be a viable build anymore, uh, in my opinion. I, again, like I said, you're going to be able to still farm pit with this, but you're not going to be able to push pit with this. Uh, the new content, I don't know about. Um, it is what it is, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. Uh, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys real soon.